changes are coming. Farming today is it's changing just like, well, everything else. And if you try to ignore those changes, it's gonna come back and bite you. And you don't just say, well, geez, maybe, maybe we will, you know, we'll wait and see. Well, hey, you make plans for it. I'm a third generation farmer and uh, my son is farming with me now. So it looks like we may be around for a while. I love what I do. Four years into it and I hope it'll be a lot longer. <laughs> I grew up here on the farm. It didn't have a name in my youth. It was just a farm. One of the things that makes me proud to be a farmer is that I actually produce something. We're not just growing blueberries, but they're really good blueberries. And they're good for you. It makes all your hours worthwhile. If we did lose the, the, the acreage, the farming, it'd be a, a loss that uh, would be hard to regain. Development is a huge pressure. If you don't have land, you can't farm. The other incredible pressure is climate change. We've got a double whammy. We've got climate change affecting weather patterns along with development that affects drainage. And it all ends up down here in the valley. As a farmer, it's all about preparing for the future. And if the future is unpredictable, it's hard to know where to go. The Ag Resilience Plan is really an effort to help all of us farmers weather the changes that are coming in the future. It's a way for farmers to raise their voices together and create change to benefit agriculture. We can't wait. The Ag Resilience Plan makes us aware, gives us an overall picture of what we may experience down the road, and so I think it'll benefit everybody that's listening. It takes the whole farming community, you know, surviving together. It's not what it can do for me and for my farm. It's, it's, you know, all of Snohomish County. This is farmer led. This is not a plan that's going to sit on a shelf somewhere. It's a plan that's going to lead to action to help real farmers with real concerns. And to people that wonder, you know, what can I do? I would just say, get involved. I mean, we, we can't just cave in. We have to, we have to keep trying. I feel like there is only room for optimism and hope. One of the more common traits of farmers is a resilience and a creative approach to problem solving. We may not all agree on every single thing, but we are centered around resilience of agriculture into the future. It's going to be a concerted effort, not only from the ag community, but the general public going to say, hey, we need this, we want this, uh, we want it to be part of the, the community. If you just give up and walk away, you're giving up on your kids and that's not in my nature. <laughs> I don't give up easily.